Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Persich. Well, in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Christian Derisaw, left tackle out of Virginia Tech University. Now, the Vikings started the day at 14, made their way down to 23, and I think we're still able to get the guy that they wanted, amassing picks in the process. This Derisaw is a monster, six foot five, 322 pounds. We've read the reviews. We know he's a great athlete. Let's take a look at the film and see what Derisaw brings to the table and why I am so excited that he'll be blocking for our running back, Dalvin Cook, this year. When you put on the film of Derisaw, there's a couple things that you notice right away. Number one, he's easy to find. He's this just giant on the left-hand side of the offensive line. And then his athleticism stands out right away. On this first play, this is just an offensive lineman being a lineman, right? Gives the defensive end the high hat, comes down, cuts him like a tree. First thing to hit the ground was the defender's head. You gotta love that nastiness the, <laughs> of an offensive lineman, especially a guy his size, to just be willing to get in the legs of a D lineman and cut him to the ground. Now, in the running game, a bit of a draw action here, sets up, gets those long arms, pushes that defensive lineman out of the screen, gets a little grab in there at the end, but again, I like that. That's the nastiness of the kid, so. The next play, this is a great example of his athleticism and what he does well and a little bit of what he needs to work on. You'll see at the snap of the football just how fluid and smooth he is with his footwork. Once he makes contact with the defensive end, he's, he, he's turned a little bit too much in the pocket and just gives a little softness on that upfield shoulder. That's something that he'll learn right away. And with you know the athleticism that he has, the footwork that he has, he'll be able to pick that thing up real, you know, pick that up real quickly. On the outside, now this is the defensive end from BC gets into him, but he's able to recover, not give up any ground, and then turns around and then pushes him right out of the screen. So you'll see, you're seeing that ability to drop your anchor, settle, and then work those good feet and, and push guys out of the picture or out of the frame. In the running game, now backside cutoff, secures his gap, helps with the block, gets to the second level, but he's fast enough and big enough to just push that defensive back on the backside, keeps him out of the play, great job. Another example of a zone, on the, really on, in, a, in a cutoff block, you see him here on the backside of the play, as soon as he makes contact with that nose tackle, you'll see his vision go to the second level. And he's good enough to get up there and get to him. Now, this is, again, an RPO. He doesn't know if it's going to be a run or a pass. But just the fluidity of him getting left and right, keeping his shoulders square. All right, next play. This is an option play with the guard pulling. So, in this case, Darisaw has to step down to make sure that Noah can get in that gap immediately with the guard vacating. And then he has to wall off on the backside. And what you love is... He walls this guy off and then he sticks with him and really gets him all the way out of the picture. So nice job on the backside, cut off again, the quick feet, able to get in, secure his gap, work to the next level. All right, another example in pass protection, no wasted movement again with his feet. He steps with that left foot, gets upfield, and you can kind of see how he's trying to build that pocket, but again, a little softness on that upfield shoulder, but just the strength to recover, gets the guy, stays with him, quarterback pulls the ball down and run, as the defender's not even really in the screen. So just great athleticism, ability to move, and then that size to really drop the anchor when he needs to. Another example of the zone blocking scheme, this time at the point of attack, great footwork. You see the defensive end trying to get that one arm in there, and lower and drop the anchor, but the recovery, all right? His pads get a little high on this, but that right arm, he's able to get underneath that defensive lineman and just keep pushing him outside, giving the quarterback a chance to, to get through. So that's the strength and size, uh, you know, of Derisaw. It's a perfect example of it right there. All right, this one could be my absolute favorite. This is, we saw the cutoff block earlier with the guard pulling. Well, they use that to set up the screen. In this case, you'll see Derisaw step down and then work his way out. Now, this is a linebacker that he's going up against. He's able to push him out of the way, but look at it. He stays with him, stays on him, escorts the, escorts the back all the way into the end zone. So for a guy who's that big to be able to work in space, to block linebackers, uh, to get up on the, on the defensive backs at the second level, that's just amazing athleticism. 